So signals are a pretty big deal and since version 16 of Angular has been released, they are in developer preview and we can start using them. But what we have so far is just a hint of their true power. Their true power will be unleashed likely in the next major version of Angular when signal based components are released. This will take signals from a generic sort of reactive primitive that can be utilized in Angular to something that is fully integrated and a core part of the Angular experience. So a signal based component might look something like this. Notice that the signal property in the decorator is set to true. This is what tells Angular that this is a signal based component. So what is the relevance of this being marked as a signal based component? Essentially, this enables a new authoring experience for Angular components while still keeping the existing authoring experience in place. You can mix standard components and signal based components in your code base as you please. Just switch that signals property on or off. So let's talk about this new authoring experience. We are going to focus on four important points. First, this will finally enable zoneless change detection out of the box. I don't want to dive into that too much here. I'll link to a video I already published on signals and change detection if you want to know more. But the basic idea is this. Currently, Angular performs change detection by using Zone.js. This patches browser APIs so that Angular can be notified when anything that could cause a change happens, like a promise resolving or a set timeout firing or events or HTTP requests and so on. Whenever anything happens that might cause a change, Angular dirty checks the entire component tree for your application to see if anything needs to be re-rendered. So this isn't as bad as it sounds. Angular is quite efficient at this and it works quite well, but the concept in general is a bit of a hack and it is far more efficient with signals. In short, with signals, we get, as the cool kids say, fine grained change detection. So rather than having to check the entire application tree when anything might have changed, with signals, Angular knows exactly what views will be affected by a particular signal changing. And it can perform change detection for just those views, no zone.js required. So the change detection stuff is cool, but somewhat behind the scenes. It generally doesn't really impact the developer experience all that much. But the next feature of signal components we are going to talk about, I think is the coolest, and that is signal inputs. So this is something that Angular developers have been after in one form or another for a long time. In short, signal inputs allow us to create inputs that are signals. But the key benefit of this is that we now have inputs that are reactive. The inputs are just signals. And when some new input is received, we can react to that change just like we would react to any other signal changing. We could, for example, create a computed signal from an input signal and whenever that input signal updates, the computed signal with its derived value will update too. This means we will no longer need to do things like having input setters that next subjects to create reactive values. We won't have to use ng on changes to react to inputs changing. We can just use signals. In fact, the ng on changes lifecycle hook will be removed from signal based components as a result of this. Another interesting addition to signal components and another way to supply input to a component is through this new concept of a model. Just like ng model, which you may be familiar with, it provides us with a way to achieve two way data binding. So to put this into context, let's take a look at an example. Uh, this is a pattern I often use for a smart and dumb component setup. So we have a smart component that injects an employee service and a dumb component whose role is to display a list of filtered employees and also provide a search box so the user can change the search term. In this case, I want the child component to be able to update the search term and I want the parent component to be able to react to that search term changing and update the employee's input as a result. Our parent component and child component are sharing the same writable signal. So just like with ng model, if either party in this two way data binding contract updates the value, they both get the value and can react to it. And finally, we have signal based queries, which is basically the same as the normal view queries we can use. Uh, for example, view child, view children, content child, content children. But now we are just given the results of those queries as a signal instead. And so this is going to lead to the further removal of uh, lifecycle hooks in signal based components. 
So there are still some things I haven't fully covered here. So I'll link to the RFC document that explains in more depth if you want to check it out. And that's it for this one. Uh, if you found this helpful, please consider a like or subscribe before you go. And I hope to see you again next time.